Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, so today we're doing a little gameplay preview demo, Bear and Breakfast. So I'm really excited because I've been waiting for Bear and Breakfast for a few months now. It got delayed, but I'm really um, excited for this one. And it was one of my main things I was looking forward to to play in this month. So yeah, so Bear and Breakfast is about a little bear named Tank who stumbles upon a shed in the forest and decides to open up a bear and breakfast after being coerced by an animatronic shark gets him to decide to make a bear uh, a bed and breakfast and have all these humans come and you get to it's like a nice management sim where you're able to build up the rooms and i really like build up the rooms and make sure they cater to the customers that you have which i think is so cute and also the all of the animal characters like are all adorable and i love i already love it so much <laughs> yeah um i won't give too much away since we're gonna be playing it today but yeah that's um, what you should look forward to and hope you enjoy this gameplay and let me know if you guys are gonna be picking this up and yeah let's get started <laughs> so i think that this is so cute already i really like this little animation right here <laughs> so cute <laughs> Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Hello? I can't move. It's like sleep paralysis. Do not. Don't what? See, because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. Left stick to move. Okay. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Introspection thing. Why is this giving me a little bit of Cult of the Lamb <laughs> vibes? Bed. Okay. I have to go straight down. Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll take a nap in the death bed. <laughs> A to interact, okay. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. I like how sassy he is in his sleep. Wake. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. <laughs> For the third time, Hank. Uh-oh, better see what's up. Reminds me of like a Cartoon Network show. It's like I can't go outside. That must be my mom. Hank, I'm up, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> Gee, thanks, mom. No, I'm... Well, where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. 
What is this we want in there? Good. Get out. It's a pigeon. Morning. <laughs> out. That's not very good morning of you. <laughs> There's nothing good about being up this early. Um, I don't smell any reason to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell them a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, mom says she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroom shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now. It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <laughs> this is so cute. Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready, here it comes. So what are we doing? And eventually we can walk around and interact with things. Okay. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. <laughs> Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need to. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hole. To black moss. What? What? I know. I said no going past the fence. But you've all been so good, and I need your help. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little sick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I will need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. <laughs> I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure. Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Find your collectibles, okay? But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. <laughs> he will. <laughs> All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma. Why is it dark? Three friends, the three friends frowned themselves farther than they'd ever gone before, past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carly, Caroly, Carolyn, oh my gosh, Carolyn dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly. Even more so on the inside. <laughs> and Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. All right, gang, spr spread out. Okay, let's. Look for the moss. What is this? Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the, by the throat and show it who's boss. That sounds ominous. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. <laughs> 
a little gray speaker box was trapped strapped to his neck to blurting out nonsense it reminded hank of will's tv next to it a little car had a big advert for something called pawn voyage nothing weird about it at all hello be part of the next exciting experience enticing escape electrifying and surprise <laughs> is someone in there you there fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat I am pretty gentle <laughs> Hank is so cute how would you like to own the most minor share in the next major maneuver well I'm not into anything major but I do like sharing and I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. <laughs> okay. How exactly are you talking? Pond Voyage is a multi multinational, multi layered, multi your friend corporation. Sounds like that. I love these animations. What the? Offering secure, touristy, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. <laughs> Don't think he ever had me to begin with. <laughs> Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Heirloom. <laughs> Pawn Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley, we will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. <laughs> this is so funny. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. <laughs> If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises by restoring, repairing, decorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> if I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. <laughs> Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money it has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello, don't you see what this means? With your artly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and spoil sports cheerful att attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for them, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. This is so funny. I love this already. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button or walk away. Let's do it. 
Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into standard into a standard legally binding agreement by using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family. Error unknown pattern. <laughs> Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I used to look at pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. Aww. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need to help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. You strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. <laughs> I love I love it. I love God um Godfather references. Okay, so oh, I see. Let's do I really like how the scenery looks. Like it's already so humorous and funny. I'm already invested. By God, a bear. That's just me, sir. Hang from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk. <laughs> I'm just shaking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got to help. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stark of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in timber crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. <laughs> He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. We haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. I felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never, never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate tour, contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. <laughs> Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can, it's quite simple. Once you figure out how to read these things. Would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack and timber crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mullet, a ladder, oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. So it looks like we're going collecting. One pal. Wow, that was so easy. I was expecting that, like, scavenge further around. Oh, wait, I see another one. Let's just get it. I didn't even see that one when I came out. So, did you find all the wood? Yeah, got it right here. 
ground. Perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it off the ground. <laughs> Amazing. Now I'm headed to Temper Crossing. I'll see you there. Where's Tony? Oh, there he goes. Yes, all this is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen humans, a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this would do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friends here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this first. You'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Okay. Clean the shed up. Got it. Okay. Looks like I cleaned it all up. That was fast. Did you clean up the shed? No. <laughs> Yeah. Great. Now I have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in, in, in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put, put it back together while I tidy up the place. used to build rooms and furniture okay so go back to Tony did you get that workbench fix like brand spanking new it's good enough <laughs> oh thanks excuse me Aw, I said achieving an unlock baby's first building. That's so cute. Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would rather, much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Awesome. Some new crafting. Let's see, we got a shabby pallet bed. Get... Oh Go make one at the workbench. Okay. Okay, I built the bed. You able to make that bed? Yeah, I've got it right here. I didn't think it could look, look worse than the schematics. <laughs> but here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. <laughs> we'll hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Okay, so minimum for a bed is two by three. Oops. Uh, did I do it right? Oh, okay, I see. Those are a little bit weird. Okay, I did it. Oh my. I don't know why that took me slightly longer to figure out with these controls. <laughs> So we built our first room. So are you able to make that bedroom? <laughs> yes sir, stains and all. Brilliant. Almost prefer it to the dead trees I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. <laughs> Alright, now this is the most important step. 
humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. Oh my gosh, you sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep records for the shark. Ah uh, yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Okay, so we unlocked, we've unlocked a new crafting recipe, front and desk recipe. We should move it around. I feel like... Can you change it? No, I'll just leave it there for now. Oh wait, I can. Okay, never mind. So, I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to the wall, because OCD. Now let's go talk back to Tony. Did you place the front desk? Yes, it's in there. That looks great. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural Hank. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even going to like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. <laughs> uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> That's how I always say thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got his joint ready. <laughs> Finn, nothing to lose, nothing to gain. <laughs> Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. <laughs> Hello, would you like to have some humans over? <laughs> oh. I missed that part, my bad. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. <laughs> intriguing and unfortunate people. <laughs> These dewy, mostly hairly, hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings foraging the world with their magic and machines, mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. <laughs> a bit dramatic if you ask Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. We can now start earning hardly life-changing income. <laughs> Simply accept your first guest through your front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have our first guest. Okay, she arrives tomorrow. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. <laughs> In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you have a head start. <laughs> then that probably means something. <laughs> In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Oh, am I get? Do I do anything else? What just happened? Where's she going? Oh, I guess I should look at my request this time. So she finds it charming. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> oh my, I'm actually caring that she's comfortable. Even though, like seriously, she has low standards because 
it's it's the one bed <laughs> it's hilarious but it says she likes it so i'm gonna leave it alone okay so i think i'm gonna end it here um i just wanted to do a little bit of a preview and first impressions so so far i think it's really cute and i think that all the characters are so charming and yeah I, I really love it so far but i will say that the controls are just a little bit weird or um it's it's a little bit awkward to do some of the controls um but other than that it's not particularly super frustrating to me just something to get used to i guess but yeah so we got our first review we got five stars and i am pretty happy with that so our next guest is going to be coming tomorrow i feel like this is one of those games you would definitely put so much time into because it looks like so much care you know so yeah um excited about this one so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to pick this up or if you decide just want to wait for it till a little later but i think this is probably one of the nice one of the best gems of september i also feel like coat of the lamb too i really love coat of the lamb so far but yeah this is really cute and um, i'm gonna end it here so i hope all of you guys are doing well and i hope you enjoyed this gameplay thanks for watching if you made it to the end and have a wonderful day you guys bye